Hey Boosters, are you ready to create your first space in Boost Space? Well, let's make this quick, fun and painless. So it works the same way in any of Boost Space modules, but let's just choose products as an example. So here are spaces. You can think about these as a databases, sub databases of each of your modules. To create new one, you can just click new product list or you know, in a different module, it will be new contact list, new space, and then just get um, guided step by step to create it. So first you need to choose uh, some descriptive name. You can choose to uh, create a hierarchy so that it will be assigned under this particular other space. So let's do that. Uh, but this is an optional step. You can go next and decide who you sharing this with. So uh, you can share this with everyone. You can share this with selected users. It can be private or in case you are building the hierarchy, it will be users that are assigned to the space. That's the master of your hierarchy. We go in next. Uh, this is where you choose how to merge duplicates. So in a real life use case, when you have multiple sources syncing data into Boostspace database, there might be some scary duplicates. And this key column is trying to avoid you from having, uh, having duplicates in your database. So it's actually merging the duplicate records based on uh, their similarities. So in this case, we will be merging data by part number. You can also choose to not merge the duplicates and this way you will have you know, any, anything that you save to Boostspace, it will be there and uh, it will not use the deduplication logic, but let's just keep uh, the duplication based on part number here and go to the last step. So the last step enables you to actually set up the structure of your database. So uh, the core modules have their basic structure. So things like AM code, name, the core stuff that you need to save to your products in this, in this case. And then we have few fields that we have pre-made. So they have this label. And basically when you are trying to work with, you know, food related products, we have a lot of uh, pre-made fields and they are, you know, really important to use if uh, you plan to use some of the follow-up uh, automations. Uh, you can also create your own uh, fields. So this is how you would be able to do that. Finish with this step and click create. Your new space have been created. This got a nice descriptive name. And then we can focus on syncing data into this particular database. So let's go.